Welcome back. Now another popular content piece is called a mind map and Canva will give you a template in order to add to your mind map. Now none of this software will be automated in terms of how you're going to create the mind map. However, what you will be able to do is to create a visual image of what it is you are attempting to display. And of course, like any of the other templates, you can filter for what you want and you can search your brainstorm template. Once you have found a suitable template, you can add the template. And basically, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding to the elements that you have here. Now, when you are working with a mind map and it already has content, the best thing to use is going to be to use the search and replace. And then you will then replace all of the information that you want to replace. Now, when you use the find, what you'll notice here is that when it finds a word, it'll actually highlight those words on the actual document as you are going. So that you'll know that you will not be typing in a misspelled word. You can then replace the word. Now again, this is not an automated process of creating a mind map. Typically, you would already have your mind map created, but what you'd be doing is providing a more visual image of what it is that you're going to be communicating. Once you've completed your mind map information, you can then download the mind map. Now, one thing you can do is you can save the document to a Microsoft PowerPoint file if that is what you use for your documents. Basically, you'll then click the download area and then the document will then be downloaded as a PowerPoint file. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.